Hello everybody, hope you're well, Basic Ollie here and welcome back to another video. Now today we are going to be doing round two, I believe, of the Manufacturers series. Now if you didn't know already, I've gone with Porsche. Now I know that's a very easy option to go with, but for me to be honest, I just want to enjoy the Manufacturers a bit more this time because I'm not really smashing it, so I just want to have a bit of fun. Um, qualifying wise, we, we, we did alright. P10, t four temps off of a uh, pole position, I think it was, so uh, not too bad. We had two runs at it. I did get blocked a little bit on my second run, so probably could have gained two or three more positions, but uh, nothing too much into it. Probably should have done uh, a bit, little bit more practice as we uh, get on the way then for our race around the Red Bull ring against all these guys here. Uh, this is an A plus SS lobby here. I'm just below A plus, but. Um, my points are very close, I think I was like 200 away at the time, so that's why I'm in the lobby as such. But, as we get underway after the first corner then, we're still in P10, we're going to do our very best then to push and gain as many positions as possible. In this race then, uh, it is just hard tyres all the way to the end, you don't have to worry about fuel either, um, I was just a little bit cautious, you see one guy there completely uh, takes himself out there, I think it was a Spaniard, uh, and he's gotten the Mercedes, so... That is pretty much his race over. And then we managed to get a move on the inside of this guy behind us. So that's two positions and two corners in. So um, by by that theory, then, we should be first by the end of the lap. Here we go. And there's another guy uh, who's gone off there. So we've gained three positions right there. Uh, I'd say one overtake and then just two people uh, wiping themselves out. So always be a little bit cautious on your first lap um, because the tyres aren't quite up to temperature. And if you try and use the normal breaking points or turning points or whatever, it will cost gosh, gosh, <laughs> it will cost you dearly, as the three people that I've now overtaken have proven. But um, anyways, enough about them. We are now in P7, just 3.5 seconds off the leader, uh, which is pretty good, as you may or may not know in Gran Turismo. With rolling starts, if you start as P10 or lower, you can find yourself like 10 to 15 seconds behind the leader by, other, by the end of lap one, which is a little bit ridiculous. They do need to work on closing the gap on the rolling starts because it is a little bit too much. But um, yeah, anyways, moving on. Uh, got the first corner done on lap two. We're going to be chasing these guys down. I would ultimately want to aim for a podium in this race, I think. I think pushing for first is going to be a little bit too much depending on what happens. Uh, it's going to be very difficult. These are some fast, fast drivers in here. Uh, very quick indeed, but we will do our best as we always try to do. But um, this Porsche is solid, so hopefully the tyre wear will come in top speed wise. Um, it's not fantastic, but you know, it's not the car really designed for this circuit. I was just give ahead to lap 4 then, when I'm in P7. I feel like we might be in trouble here, and f yes, we are. I just had a feeling I took a little bit too much of that curb on that first corner. It is so hard sometimes not to cut that. You're trying to make as much time as possible. Uh, and we've landed ourselves with a, a silly half second penalty there. And so is the guy in the Hyundai as well. So we're going to be dropping back annoyingly. We've lost the position there. But by the look of things, we are quite far ahead of the Spaniard in P8. So it shouldn't be too bad. Breaking the usual point then. We get really, really close to this Hyundai in front of us. Almost slamming into the back of him. So thank God we didn't smash him off. That would have been, uh, that would have been such a horrible set, three corners and our race has completely changed, but anyway, skipping ahead to lap 5, we're going to be looking for a move on the inside here, everyone breaks so cautiously and I was just honestly like a snail going through there but this Hyundai uh, has a little um, confrontation, shall we say uh, with the guy from Greece uh, and the guy from Greece gets a one second penalty, so we managed to get past someone and the guy in front of us uh, now has a one second penalty, they break just on the inside here get a little bit of nudge from the guy behind me, he pushes me, I then push the guy uh, in the Citroen uh, and he gets past me again, a um, little bit of a naughty move but I thought, you know what mate, I can also do that and I go for a move on the inside here, I'm going to push him out ever so slightly, not too much and that is the position, there we go, position, <laughs> that is P6, there we go, so not too shabby whatsoever, up to P6, let's concentrate, get our heads down then and see if we can chase these guys down, so four positions gain then, eight laps in, can we get P3? I can see that guy in the Honda NSX. Can we potentially get ourselves P3 and I think get a massive 220 points? As we see the Mercedes here goes to the right very early as he had a poor exit onto the start of the lap. Um, 
thinking he could defend it, but I just got a little bit too much speed there. My exit was pretty good, uh, and we managed to cross the line as well with a 130.120. Now, that was the second fastest lap of the race. Um, the guy in first, uh, or second I should say, set a fantastic lap of 129.6. Anyways, now we're on lap 10, looking for a move on the inside here. The guy in the Honda just does enough to um, block us off there. Uh, moving just ever so slightly in the, um, well, not the braking zone, but just moves ever so slightly, manages to block us off. We're going to be looking for a move here. We get a little bit of a nudge, and that causes me to go into the back of the guy in the Honda. He then hits the guy in the Citroen. Um, we then accelerate out of this corner. We're going to get the slipstream of the Honda in front of us. We're fighting with this, slip, this uh, Citroen on the left-hand side, uh, this Brit. Can we be the fastest Brit in here as well, actually? Just managed to nab the slipstream of the Honda in front of us. Uh, again, nailing that braking point, hitting him in the middle of the apex here to make sure we defend our position. And that is now up to P4. So we have gained plenty of positions in this race. And we're, now we're going to be fighting for a podium. So... Fingers crossed, we can go all the way from P10 uh, and, um, you know, get ourselves a podium, which would be absolutely fantastic. Right, all the way up the back of this guy then, um, just give him a little, little bit of a nudge. We're not going to be able to overtake him because he's on the inside there. Uh, I just gave him a little bit of a nudge so we can um, not lose too much time uh, to the guys behind us because they are going to be fighters. As he gets a little bit leery coming out of there then, uh, the rear tyre's probably given up on that Honda NSX then as the guy behind us has got himself uh, a nice little penalty, so that should give us a little bit more breathing room. We're going to go for a move on the inside here, again, nailing the breaking point there, hitting him in the middle of the apex, trying to power out as early as we possibly can. Uh, that Honda, we're going to be having a drag race all the way to the next corner, but unfortunately I think he's going to have the inside here uh, of this next corner. There's nothing I can do, and again, he just parks it on the racing line there, uh, and I just cannot find a way past. This is a good little battle we're having here then, uh, with the Honda, we've definitely got more pace. Uh, I feel like if we had good qualifying, uh, we could have been with the top two here, but um, that's just the way it goes sometimes. Anyways, lap 12. Again, slipstream going up into the second corner. We're going to try and outbreak him, but we can't. He breaks quite well as well. Go in first gear, we're going to try and uh, up and over, but it's just not quite right. But then again, he does get a little bit squeamish. Again, we're going to have a drag race all the way uh, to the next corner here at the Red Bull Ring. We've got the inside of the corner. Surely, surely now we should have him here. Breaking at the same point identically to the guy uh, to the left. We managed to get the move on the inside. We just touched the curb, but that causes us to lose a little bit of traction. We can't get the power down. And then the guy <laughs> overtakes us again. So we're having such a good scrap here. And it is really, really clean. This is really good racing. Um, at this point, I'm not really caring about first and second. This race was just awesome fighting this guy. So... Uh, fair play to him, we were both really, really clean. He gets all sorts of out of shape there. Surely this is the move. Finally, we can get ourselves in P3. God damn it. Oh, I don't even know what to say about that one. That was... I assume it's for the corner um, before... Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That's just, that was that penalty. Is just, that's just killed me. Absolutely killed me, that penalty. I don't... It's, it's so harsh, that. That is just so incredibly harsh. I feel like I know what it's for, but I didn't gain any time from it. I mean, the FOI races do have slightly stricter penalties on it, but it's just that was just a game changer. That I feel like without this half second penalty, uh, we could have probably pulled ourselves away. But uh, we're going to have to see now how deadly that half second penalty is going to be to our race. Uh, I see the two guys in; they're fighting behind us, so. Might just give a little bit of chance here. So we serve it quickly. Uh, power down straight again. Is it going to have much of an effect? These two are going to be right on top of us going into this corner then. As we're in a sandwich of two other cars here. Desperately trying to keep P3. Um, we managed to uh, knock the guy off. Well, I say knock him off. <laughs> we managed to get past him. I didn't knock him off. Uh, we managed to get past the guy in P5. So now we're in P4. But yet again, surprise, surprise. We've got that ass of the Honda NSX to look at. So we've been looking at that thing for a long, long time. And I don't know about you, I'm fed up of looking at it. I want that P3 position and I want it for good. I do not want to have to get overtake him and then lose it again and then overtake him. As the guy behind us is looking for a move, so I'm going to have to watch out for that. It just backs off. But we need to get this done. Look, he's just the rear end of that NSX. It just seems to have given up on him. So, And again, look through there, quite poor. Um, can we get a move done on the straight? Uh, he's 
looks like he's going defensive already. We're not going to be able to get something here unless we can go around the outside and pull off the move of the century, but it'll be very difficult. Yeah, there we go. Uh, he's defended that quite well. Uh, I think we get a little bit of an urge there uh, from the guy behind us, uh, and that just causes us to lose a little bit of time. Nothing drastic, um, but uh, we're going to be getting the slipstream. As you can see, the two guys behind us then, they're really, really close to us. Is this guy in the Honda. His tyres really are starting to die off now. Um, let's just hope we can catch up with him. Surprise, motherfucker. But no, the guy on the inside in the Mercedes gets a little bit impatient, hits me into the side, I lose grip, and there you go. <laughs> I'd like to think I gave him plenty of room, but... I, I, well, to be honest with you, I really do think I gave him enough room. But Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Um, we didn't have enough time to come back. Uh, and we finished P6, which is quite disappointing, but yeah, I'll, I'll take it, you know, we started in P10, it's still four positions gained against some really rather quick drivers in here, but sometimes you have days like this, but we've got plenty more races to go through, but um, there you go, guys. Um, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff and like what you see, like, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one. Ta-da!